Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the reciprocity theorem contained in the AC circuit. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. In the network shown below, the voltage source 100 voltage with angle 45 degree causes current IX in the 5 ohm branch. Find the IX value and verify the reciprocity theorem. So the network is given. There are three loops available. Three branches, three loops are available. I1, I2, I3. Current in the three loops. In the loop 1, voltage source is available. In loop 3, 5 ohm is available. Through the 5 ohm, the current flowing is IX. We need to find the value of IX. And also we need to verify reciprocity theorem. The reciprocity theorem is nothing but the voltage source available in branch 1, current we are calculating in branch 3. Based on reciprocity theorem, the voltage source in branch 1 should be transferred to branch 3. So that current in the branch 3 will reflect in branch 1. So that is the reciprocity theorem. So first we will consider the circuit given as it is. We will find the IX value. In step 2 we will transfer the voltage source to third branch and we will find the current in the first branch that should be equal to this IX. The current should be equal. So we will go to the step 1. As it is we will proceed and we will find the value of IX. We will follow the matrix method. Kirchhoff's voltage law. This loop method using matrix. B equal to I into R. This is voltage matrix, current matrix and resistant matrix. We have three loops are available. Loop 1, loop 2, loop 3. I1 is the current in loop 1, I2 is the current in loop 2, I3 is the current in loop 3. This I3 is nothing but IX. The current I3, the same thing is flowing through I, I, 5 ohm resistor, that is also IX. What we need to find is IX, that is nothing but I3. First we will frame the voltage matrix. So this is nothing but R11. R11 means resistance, that is impedance available in loop 1, that is 10 plus J5. Then R12, the uh, impedance available between loop 1 and 2, that is this J5. J5 is available between 1 and 2, minus J5. Then R13, resistor available between loop 1 and loop 3. There is, there is no uh, contact between loop 1 and 3, that is 0. Then R21, the uh, impedance available between second loop and first loop, that is J5, minus J5. Right, other than diagonal, all elements are minus. Then, this R22, the impedance available in the second loop. This 10 ohm minus J5 ohm plus J5 ohm. Then this is R23. The impedance available between second loop and third loop. That is minus J5. So, already one minus we need to put. Is here also one minus is there. So, that it becomes plus J5. Then R31 between third loop and first loop. Between third and third loop and first loop it is 0. Then R32 third loop and second loop. Third three, R32 third loop and second loop. Minus J5 already here one minus will be there so it becomes plus J5. R33 the impedance available in the third loop. That is minus J5 and 5 ohm. So, 5 minus J5. So, we frame the impedance matrix. R11 is total resistance available in the, the branch 1. R22 means the total impedance available in second loop. R33, the total impedance available in loop 3. This is R12, 13, 21, 23, 31, 32. That is common resistance between first loop and second loop, first loop and third loop like that. Other than diagonal all are negative. Then current this I1, I2, I3. The voltage is 100 voltage 45 degree in loop 1. In loop 2 and loop 3 the voltage source is not available, 0. Then after simplification we got 10 plus J5 minus J5, 0 minus j5 this is this become these both are cancel j plus j5 and minus j5 cancel 10 then j5 0 j5 5 minus j5 
So this is the resistance matrix. So our aim is to find Ix that is I3. So we need to find del value 1 delta 3. I3 equal to delta 3 by delta. So this is nothing but delta. This matrix is nothing but delta. By replacing the third column with the voltage matrix we will give delta 3. So first we will find the delta. We will replace third column with the voltage matrix. Then we will find delta 3. From that we can find I3. Now we will go to the for calculation for delta value. So this is a delta value. We need to find the determinant. 10 plus J5 multiplied by 10 into 5 minus J5 minus J5 into J5. So this is given. Already here minus is there. So minus of minus J5. You have to multiply these two. Minus J5 into 5 minus J5. Minus J5 into 0. This third element is 0. So no need to worry about that become 0. Now we will go for further simplification. 10 plus J5. This 10 is multiplied inside. So 50 minus J50. Here minus J5, J5. So the J square 25. 5 into 5, 25. Then these two minus is there. Here also minus it become plus. So it is multiplied inside. Minus J5 into 5. So minus J25. Minus J5 into minus J5. So that is plus J square 25. We know that J square value is minus 1. We will substitute that. 10 plus J5 into 50 minus J50 minus of this J square is minus 1 into 25 plus J5 minus J25 plus this J square is minus 1, 25. Now we can go for further simplification. 10 plus J5, 50. So this uh, here also one uh, J, uh, J50 plus 25 uh, minus available two times. So it is plus 25 plus J5 minus j25 this is become negative now minus 25 now we'll go for further simplification 10 plus j5 into 75 50 plus 25 75 minus j50 plus j5 into minus j25 minus 25 right we'll go for further simplification now we'll multiply inside this 10 plus j5 is multiplied inside so that's 750 first multiply with 10 750 minus J500 then multiply with J5 plus J375 minus J square 250 5 into 50 250 minus this are these the J5 also multiplied inside minus J square 125 minus J125 right so the further it is simplified 750 minus J500 plus J375 plus 250 plus 125 minus j125 now we will add all the real terms 750 250 and 125 1000 200 and 1125 minus j500 plus j375 minus j125 you have to add all this imaginary term that is minus 250 so now we will calculate the delta value is 120 100 and 125 minus j250 now we will go to the delta 3 value because we need I3 so it is enough to find delta 3 delta 1 delta 2 not needed right so this third column is replaced by the, the third column is replaced by voltage matrix right so these two values are 0 not uh, J5 it is 0 this is also 0 this is also 0 so that will go like this 100 into 100 with angle 45 will take this so that will multiply these two and these two minus j5 into j5 minus of 10 into 0 so that also become 0 right no no need to go here a normal procedure because these two values are 0 we will take this element and will multiply these two elements right so 100 angle 45 this is minus j5 into plus j5 right multiplying these two so minus j square 25 j square is minus 1 so it totally it become plus right 25 so 25 into 1000 2500 with an angle 45 degree so the delta 3 value is 2500 with an angle of 45 degree right now we will find the i3 value so i3 equal to delta 3 divided by delta delta 3 is 2500 with an angle 45 degree del value is 1125 minus j250 for the division 
we need to divide this for that the rectangular form is needed if it is rectangular form we can divide so this is available in sorry polar form polar form is needed this is already in polar form polar form means magnitude and angle but this is available in rectangular form it should be converted into polar form that is magnitude and angle how to find the magnitude square root of 1125 square plus minus 250 square right we have to square this value and square this value we need to add and take the square root that will give the magnitude that is 1152.44 how to find the angle tan inverse b by a imaginary term divided by real term so tan inverse minus 250 divided by 1125 that is minus 12.53 degree now both are in polar form division mean we have to divide this 2500 divided by 1152.44 that is 2.169 ampere right the angle is we have to subtract 45 minus minus of one minus minus 125.3 sorry 12.53 so while taking 45 minus minus it become plus so that 57.33 so the ix value i3 is nothing but ix both are same 2.169 with an angle 57.53 right so division means these two magnitudes are divided these two angles are subtracted multiplication means the angle should be added so 45 minus of minus 125 so it become plus So 45 plus 12.53, so that it is 57.33. Now we calculated the ix value. That is one of the question. Now we need to verify with the reciprocity theorem, right? Now we'll go to the step two. So in the step two, now connect the voltage source in the branch in which the current ix, that is 5 ohm branch. and connect an ammeter in the branch where the voltage source were connected right so we are now interchange the uh, voltage source from first branch to third branch and we'll verify the current in that third branch will reflect in first branch so that is the second step now see here the voltage source available is now transfer to the third branch now we need to verify current in the 5 ohm is where what we calculated ix should be available in the first branch i1 the i1 should be the what the value by we calculated should be i1 that is 2.167 right so voltage source from branch 1 is transferred to branch 3 current what we calculated now should be reflected in first branch that is i1 now we'll frame the matrix so it is very similar to what we calculated earlier 10 plus j pi all the networks are same this is branch 1 uh, loop 1 loop 2 loop 3 Right, all the values are same. 10 plus J phi R11 minus J phi 0 minus J phi 10 plus J phi minus J phi J phi 0 J phi phi minus J phi. Right. Then I1 I2 I3. Only the voltage is different. In the first loop voltage is zero. Second loop also voltage is zero. Third loop we have 100 voltage with 45 degree. Right. So this is R11. R11 means the total resistor in the loop one. R12 the total resistor in the second loop j phi plus j phi minus j phi this is r1 r33 the total resistor in the third loop minus j phi plus phi phi minus j phi this is r12 a resistor available between 1 and 2 this is r13 resistor available between 1 and 3 there is no connection so that it is zero what we calculated similar only the voltage is uh, voltage matrix the voltage available in the third loop right so this is the simplified form in this we need to find the again current value if the current through ab is same as the value of ix in step 1 we can say that reciprocity theorem is verified to now we'll calculate the current now we need to calculate i1 current earlier we calculated i3 now we need to calculate i1 now we'll go to the calculation for i1 current so to find the i1 current first we will find the delta value so it is very similar to what we calculated earlier right that is 1125 minus j250 that is 1152.44 with an angle minus 12.53 in step 1 we calculated delta the same same thing is here so the delta value is same as step 1 i will find the delta 1 because we need i1 
in step 1 we calculated delta 3 because we need i3 now we need i1 so we will calculate delta 3 so replace the first column with the voltage matrix right so here also change is there in uh, step 1 voltage is available here these two elements are 0 now there is no voltage source in first and second loop only third loop so that 0 0 100 with an angle of 45 now we will take this 100 angle of 45 so that we have to multiply these two values j5 minus j5 into j5 minus of 0 into 10 right if you take this value you have to leave these two columns you have to multiply these two values right so that 100 angle 45 this is nothing but minus j square 25 j square is minus 1 that is 25 so 100 into 25 2500 with an angle of 45 so this del 1 value also very similar to the previous case what we calculated del 3 right 2500 with an angle of 45 now we will find the i1 current that should be equal to the what the current what we calculated in step 1 so delta 1 divided by delta 2500 with an angle 45 degree delta is 1152.44 with an angle of minus 12.53 see both are available in polar form magnitude angle magnitude and angle so we can divide this value 2500 divided by 1100 52.44 that is nothing but 2.169 the angle we have to subtract division mean we have to subtract 45 minus minus of minus 12.53 so it become 45 plus 12.53 that is 57.53 ampere so the i1 value is 2.169 magnitude with an angle 57.53 so this is very similar to i3 or ix so that i1 in the step 2 is equal to iab that is equal to ix right the current what we calculated in step 1 is same as what we calculated in step 2 also so that reciprocity theorem is verified while interchanging the voltage source from branch 1 to branch 3 the current in the branch 3 is reflected in branch 1 this i1 value so that hence the reciprocity theorem is verified Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.